Vinny, you have had the busiest time this year. Festivals on the South American circuit, collaborations with Dylan Francis, you're signed to Hardwell's Revealed label. How has this past year been for you? Well, this was the best year of my career, of my entire life, to be honest. Really? <laughs> I live in moments that I dreamed of when I was like 16 years old and I thought it was impossible. How important do you think it is for DJs, for artists, for musicians to attend Amsterdam Dance Event? What does it mean to you? This is the most important moment of this year for the electronic music scene of the entire world. So uh, all the industry of the electronic music is here, so it's totally important to be um, connected with everything that is happening here. What is your advice for people who would like to follow? what you have done and, and make those connections, what should people do? I think it's all about the passion, to be passionate with music. Things start to happen naturally. Yeah. People come to you like, oh, I like your music, let's work together. Just keep it true. Yeah. What is your dream next collaboration? Tiesto is a great inspiration. We have been talking a lot about music Maybe, Maybe make something happen? Prepare some surprise for the next year. Who okay. knows? <laughs> okay, so we've got a little exclusive there. There's something people can look forward to. I like it. I will be keeping my eyes peeled. That's very exciting. <laughs> so you have just been ranked 50 in the top 101 producers, right? How do you feel about that? Well, uh, I'm amazed. Uh, I never thought I could debut on 50. I'm, I'm really happy to receive so many supports from DJs all over the world. I just want to say thank you all. <laughs> that must open a lot of opportunities for you to have this amazing accolade. You must have many paths open to you now from that. So congratulations. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> <laughs> so you played Lollapalooza 2022 recently. Um, how did that go for you? That's a crazy story. I was uh, waiting to play there uh, for many years. You can see in the video footage, there's this like crazy rainstorm and you're like dealing with the water hitting your face <laughs> and the crowd is still partying. That must have felt kind of amazing. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I had to stop. I could not uh, get back, but yeah, okay, it was a cool story to tell and I hope to play again on the next yeah. years. I'm sure we'll see you at the next Lollapalooza Brazil. I feel like you, they, you're, you're right invited. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there on the front row. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rain or shine. And can I ask you, what is your dream festival to play? Apart from Lollapalooza Brazil next year, what is your other dream festival to play? Tomorrowland for sure. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. Uh, when I was younger, on my first year of career in 2016, it happened at the Tomorrowland in Brazil. Mm -hmm. I was on the stage, but I was not on the lineup. I was just playing with a friend okay. that was there. It, it was the craziest experience in my life. It's just, whoa, I want this yeah. uh, in the next, in the future. Mm -hmm. So that gave you that ambition to kind of create a career where you could be on, on the list to be playing these huge stages at Tomorrowland. Totally. Yeah, well, you never know next year. We'll see you on the festival circuit, I'm sure. <laughs> the way things are going right now. So you used your voice for the first time on a track this summer, right? Yes. I saw on your YouTube channel, some, <laughs> how was that for you? Is it really liberating to have your voice in your music playing to these huge crowds? I've been trying some crazy things uh, since ever. It was like a, a challenge from my, my fan base, my followers. The role was I needed to create a sound that was uh, unique. And so that's how that, that uh, sample of your voice made its way into the track through a, through a challenge from your followers. Yeah, I dropped a lot of effects, so it doesn't sound like a voice anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was a cool experience. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm always pushing myself to, to create crazy things out of my comfort zone. Yeah, what can we see next from you? Will you be using your voice more in tracks? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? More on the horizon. Thank you so much for your time today. It was awesome to hang out with you. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's been great to chat. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know who you would like to see us interview next in the comments below.